Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shadow Wraith, and today I'm going to be going over how to play Ancient Rome in Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is going over what faction, or factions in some cases, would best represent Rome or whatever faction I'm doing. And I'll go over what units you want to bring, what they would represent, and how to convert them and how to play them tactics wise so this is quite a fun video uh, less competitive but don't get me wrong these are still competitive to an extent I'm not going to give you any trash here okay you can still win with these but anyway let's get on with it so there are two factions that can play as ancient Rome well there's probably more but these are the two I've picked now the first one is Minas Tirith and that's the most obvious answer um, I think a lot of people jump straight to Minas Tirith just because I don't know maybe their shields look a little bit like the Scutums that the Romans use their big shields it's very similar not too hard to convert but that's not why I've picked them here's why they have got well what has Rome got they've got very good armor for like the heavy infantry, the main battle line. They've got half decent cavalry. They've got strong leaders and good courage, well disciplined, along with siege weapons. So that's why Minas Tirith is my top pick for this. I will do the um, honorary mention of the second faction and a quick summary of how I would do them, but I'm going to be focusing on Minas Tirith for the majority of this video. So, how do we start out with this? Well, they've got the strong infantry. We're going to be using the standard, you know, Tommy, the old Minas Tirith warrior. Um, they're really strong for what they are. Seven points, but eight points with a shield, because you're going to definitely bring them with a shield. 100% every single time if you're playing them as Rome. Because they go up to defense six. And whilst they're in shield wall, they're defense seven. That is a hard nut to crack, okay? It's going to take quite a lot to get through that. Uh, the Courage 3, Courage 4 with the army bonus, so well disciplined to an extent. And you can give them everything that Rome would have. They can have a war horn, they can have banners, they can have, you know, shields, spears, sword and board. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And this is going to be your core infantry, so your cohorts, things like that. Whatever you want to call them. Um your legionary cohort um yeah so pretty standard pretty easy and you're going to be wanting a lot of these guys now if we play historically accurately um they're not really going to have spears or mixed units but we want to be competitive okay so you're going to take a contingent of these guys with sword and board perfect okay they're your legionary cohort then you're going to be wanting to bring a banner pretty much a couple of banners, a couple of banners, because Rome loved their eagles. It was all about the eagle. They look at the eagle, get inspired, and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll this jewel roll." So very, very fluffy, very perfect. Along with that, you're gonna be wanting to bring probably one warhorn just to bump their courage up that little bit more, just to get them that little bit more disciplined. You don't have to, but it would just work a bit better. Plus, Army of the Dead is very popular, so. Having Courage 5 around is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Then, what are we going to have leading these Romans? Well, we've got Banamir. So, Boromir with a banner. Very good. Very good and very fluffy. So, he can be your, you know, whatever you want. Praetorian, your <laughs> legate, whatever. Okay, whoever's leading, your commander. Um, and he's just got the buffs. So, 6-inch banner. So they're re-rolling, so he can be the main golden eagle. And along with that, they get plus one fight value, which is amazing because they all become fight three. Uh, sorry, fight four. Fight three, that's terrible. So fight four near Banamir. So he's going to be your leader. Perfect. Because A, he's competitive. B, awesome. And give him a horse. Because no Roman commander is going to be slogging it on foot unless you're Caesar trying to, uh, you know, rally a flank that's about to crumble. <laughs> Which you can do as well. But give him a horse. Just makes him a bit more uh, manoeuvrable and things like that. 
What else do we need? Well, you can't go wrong with most of the other heroes. Some of the other heroes are all right. You can be a uh, Syrian Knight of the White Tower. They're perfectly fine. But the bog standard Captain of Minas Tirith is perfect. 50 points. He's a very good Centurion. You know, proxy. Um, he's Defense 6. So he's Defense 7 with a shield. Defense 8 when he's standing with your troops, which he will be. Okay, absolutely brilliant. Perfect. Hard as nails. He's got an extra attack, an extra strength, and he's going to be Courage 6. He's got two might as well. So having more might in the army is perfect. So he's only 50 points. Uh, 51. Oh, uh, 55 if you give him a shield. Sorry. Brilliant. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And he can be leading your legionary cohort. Fantastic. Now what about some veteran units? We're going to go with the classic Triarii. That's how I say it, okay? There's loads of ways of saying it. I know. I'm not Roman, okay? I'm going to say Triarii. They are basically your shield infant, uh, shield and spear infantry. And they are veterans, okay? They've been through it all. They only come out when like it's going wrong, pretty much. But we're going to be using them pretty regularly. And the best stand-in I can find for Triarii, if you want true Triarii, is... Guard of the Fountain Court, 10 points, you give them an extra point for a shield. Boom, Triarii. Fight 4, Strength 3, Defense 7, 1 attack, 1 wound, Courage 3, or 4, or could be 5 if you get a Warhorn in there. Um, yeah, absolutely perfect. Uh, I think it's really fluffy. When they're near ba uh, Banamir, they're up to Fight 5, so you can have a Fight 5 shield wall quite easily. Fantastic. There we go. We've got our Triarii. If you want a slightly lesser version of them, you can go for Citadel Guard. The only downside to Citadel Guard is that they're slightly lower defense. That's pretty much it. Okay, and these Triarii, or Guard of the Phantom Court, or Citadel Guard, or whatever, have Bodyguard, so they're not running away from anything, which reinforces the veteran feel to them. That's, that's pretty much it. Then, we can have some Rangers of Gondor for archers, just because the Romans did use auxiliary uh, archers, so you can make them look however you want. They're going to be squishy. The only job is to fire bows, okay? We don't have any slingers in this game, really, unless you're a hobbit. But, yeah, I think the Rangers of Gondor are a perfect fit, and you just want a few of these to um, harass the enemy with, if you want. So, we've got the core of our troops, we've got our veterans, we've got our leaders. What else do we need? We need some artillery, because the Romans were very famous for their artillery. Now, you can go nuts and bring a trebuchet if you want. They didn't have trebuchets, not that I'm aware of. I think it was more catapults and things like that. Uh, but, yeah, trebuchet's fine. I wouldn't bother, though. Too expensive, and they never hit their target. I'd go with the Gondor Avenger Bolt Thrower. Very good proxy in for the Roman Scorpion Ballista. Perfect. Okay. You've got a perfect standing for the Roman Scorpion uh, Ballista. And it's fine. D6, strength 7 shots. I'd give it swift reload for 20 points, making it 70 points. Just so you've got a better chance at rolling higher. You don't have to, of course. If you want more of them, don't bother. But two of these, absolutely brutal. With a fight 5 shield wall at the front as your core infantry, supported, obviously, by your Triarii. It's going to be hard to shift that. You've got Boromir and Captains leading your warbands. And you've got a few Rangers firing pot shots. You can bring in some cavalry, because the Romans had okay cavalry. Um, yeah, Praetorian cavalry were pretty good. So you've got the Knights of Minas Tirith for that, if you really want to bring some. And it's always good to have at least one or two. But how are we going to be playing these guys? Well, there's a few tactics you can do. You can do the old sit back and shoot until the enemy comes to you, at which point you they smash up against your shield wall and you try and envelop them with some cavalry. Okay, pretty good tactic. It will work. Failing that, if you have to grab multiple objectives, this is again why you want at least a couple cavalry. You can fire out some cavalry here and there to grab objectives whilst pushing forward with your shield wall whilst being supported by your Avenger bolt thrower. That's, yeah... Yeah, there's loads of cheeky tactics. Um, if you really want to know more tactics, check out my historical tactics video that you can use in middle-earth strategy battle games. It, go over, it goes over quite a few that you can use. 
including oblique order, you've got the pig's head, um, and you've got a few other things. But yeah, it's it's worth a look because you can play some pretty cool moves in Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game that actually do work. And the Romans were all about battle tactics, so you want to be keeping your units in kind of like groups, so you don't you don't have to have one solid block of shield wall, you can split it off into two, you can use one to take the main brunt of the charge, the other one can start pushing towards an objective to then randomly flank the enemy uh, whilst being protected by your Avenger bolt thrower. There's a lot of things you can do there, but you want Banamir giving the fight plus one to everyone. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, how do we convert these guys? Well, it's really easy. You want to get maybe a little file or something just to get rid of that cheeky, uh, you know, white tree on their breastplate. And that's pretty much it. You want to cut their heads off and replace them with Roman heads, Roman legionnaire heads. Pretty cheap to get. There's loads of companies that do them. You Warlord Games, again, probably the biggest one out there that does 28mm historical models, but I'm sure if you type it into Google, you'll find some quite easily, even if you go to some third-party sites that just sell heads. Um, you can either keep their shield and get rid of the White Tree of Gondor, and either try and hand-paint the um, patterns on the Scutums of the Romans, or you can um, just buy Scutums and use the transfers decals and stick them on them. Much easier. But other than that, you don't really do anything else. You can go over the top and give them all Gladius, you know, in their hands. Um, yeah, that's it. The only downside to this is I really wish I could give them, you know, throwing spears or something to represent the Peeler, which is their short-range throwing spears they used to throw just before they engaged in combat or if an enemy was charging them. But, hey-ho, we can't have everything. I think we've got a pretty nice match here. Um, yeah, that's it. With the heroes, it's exactly the same. You just want to maybe try and find a heroic looking head, maybe a centurion's head, stick it on the captains, or Boromir. Depends how much you want to convert your Boromir model, or use a proxy in. And of course, if you're playing at home, feel free to just buy Roman models and tell your opponent what they are. I've done it because I have a massive collection of 28mm Roman models. So I've done it at home, and it's pretty clear what units are. They've got a spear, found a court. They've got shields and swords, warriors of Minas Tirith, a bolt thrower, it looks like a bolt thrower. And, yeah, that's it. Anyway, the honourable mention that we could do is Iron Hills. Now, the reason I say Iron Hills is because they're pretty high courage, they're very high defence, they've got shield wall, and they've all got spears. Okay, so they're more of an elite faction, so say they're all Triarii. Not that the Romans would ever bring pure Triarii. Along with that, they've got their lovely Ballista, which is very, very good. And it stops bow fire, which is really handy. Um, and you've got some decent cavalry to wrap around the enemy. But they're only an honourable mention. They would fit, but they're not perfect. I think Warriors of Minas Tirith work much better. Anyway, that's it. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments, and I would love to see what you think about the idea of using historical factions in middle earth strategy battle game and on one other note before i leave this video off if anyone out there fancies being featured on my channel just jump into my discord or drop me a comment or whatever and we can talk about being in one of my competitive chat videos so the only way to qualify for that is you've got to place fifth or higher in an event ideally third or higher but fifth or higher is fine I don't mind um, but yeah you pr pretty much just go over your list and the event you went to and your experiences and your games and your tactics that you used to get to a high position in the tournament it's mainly to help out newer players trying to step into the tournament scene and it's quite interesting for veteran players to hear what the metas are for other countries or places or how people might play factions differently so yeah please do that. Ideally, in my Discord server, which is in the, the uh, link is in the description down below, because it's just easy to talk, and I'll need you on Discord anyway, so we can actually talk, like, with mics and stuff. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and you're feeling very generous. 
do hit the like button, and if you're feeling extremely generous, or saintly even, do feel free to hit the subscribe button. But if you don't do either of those things, never mind. I still hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Whoa.